Are you using Zoom's breakout feature in Zoom meetings specifically, and you're looking for some tips on how you can better manage breakouts when you have multiple rounds of them? Well, I'm gonna show you a feature that Zoom released just over a year ago, and it was all about how you can recreate breakout rooms, which is a super easy feature if you are looking to put people together in the same exact room they were just in, but you want to put them in breakouts, bring them back together, and take them out again. So let's get into it. Before we jump into it, I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. I do wanna remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. I'm also the co-host of the Better Events Podcast with fellow event pro Mary Davidson. We drop new episodes every single week where we dive even more into these event production, event planning topics. So wherever you listen to podcasts, you're able to listen to ours. All right, so breakout rooms are a really great feature of specifically Zoom meeting. You aren't able to use that in the Zoom webinar software. And often with breakout rooms, the ability for you to assign specific people to specific rooms, you can also make them random. And the cool feature that Zoom had started to come out with just about a year ago was the ability to recreate, which means you can just duplicate exactly what you did before. Now, this is a great feature if you are someone who wants to be able to bring people together into your main room in Zoom meeting, send them into breakouts, maybe you're doing small group work, but then you wanna come back together in the main room and review, or maybe group share out, but then you wanna send them back to those same exact rooms. Now, before Zoom 6.0 update back in the summer of 2024, you would have to manually do that or screenshot to remember who was in what room. Now they've made it as easy as a click of a button. And the way they made this so easy is as long as you have updated your Zoom, which I will link in my video down below to my video all about updating your Zoom. Um, as long as you've updated your Zoom, you will see this inside the Zoom app, which we love. You don't need to go on the back end. You don't need to go to zoom.com. So let's hop into Zoom. So once again, double me's, I'm here in Zoom. I am using, again, a Mac. I am the host of this meeting. That's another caveat I give you. If you are not the host of your meeting, you will not see this feature. You are able to see this feature if you're a co-host, meaning someone who is hosting the meeting has made you a co-host. You are able to see the features that I'm talking about. So down at the bottom, we're gonna go down to breakouts. When you click breakouts, you have this lovely pop-up. You now are going to have your, you can build your rooms, that's what I have. I have it built so I can just assign people. This is if I had more people in my meeting, I would assign, assign, assign. And then I would click open all rooms. Now, another little bonus for you listeners here, plan next session. I love that Zoom has this. So again, if you were someone who was doing them automatically, manually, let participants choose room, you could do this where they're in a breakout session right now and you could already be planning for the next one, which was so nice. So you could do a sign automatically and then again, open these rooms once the next session is, is going. All right, so my breakout rooms are in progress. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna close all rooms and the button your best friend's gonna be is right here, recreate, recreate, breakout rooms, and it is going to recreate exactly what you just had. So you don't have to remember if Bob and Sally were together, you can just recreate it and it's gonna put them back in the exact same rooms with the exact same people. And that is such a nice feature. Uh, again, I use Zoom breakout rooms all the time for doing different conversation starters and putting people together, essentially strangers together who don't know each other. And so making it really easy for me to just be able to put them back together again or the ability to recreate, but just change how I want to recreate them. I can actually pre-plan and make sure while they're in my first round of breakouts, I can make sure the same people aren't together. And once again, I've done videos about breakout rooms, but this little gear icon on the left is gonna be your best friend where you can allow people to choose rooms, return to the session. Right now you're looking at my go-to defaults of automatically move people to breakout rooms. I also like to auto close and I will change that based on the round of my breakout discussions. And then I always have a countdown and 30 seconds seems to be the sweet spot for me where that's enough time for people to close conversation with some timeliness, get back to the main room. It's also not so 
drastic as I think the shortest they give you is 10 seconds, which can really make people stressed out. So that is how you can recreate breakout rooms and mwah, chef's kiss. Thank you, Zoom. That was such a good feature. I hope you learned something new about Zoom breakout rooms and the recreate feature, and maybe even just that you need to update your Zoom. Zoom is always coming out with new updates, but this big one from last year seems to have had the biggest visual impact and functional impact for folks who are trying to use Zoom to do all kinds of virtual meetings. Hopefully you learned something. I'm Logan Clements, a freelance event producer based in Seattle, but I execute events all over the world. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.